Hey guys, so I've been making quite a few modifications inside of my Lakeview Manor home, mainly because I really didn't like the furniture options that came with the workbenches. So I decided to manually place furniture pieces using the command console. Um, if you guys have done modifications to your home, I'd love to see them. So go ahead and post a link to either your video or screenshots in a comment below, and I'll be sure to check them out. Okay, let me show you what I have so far. So as soon as you enter, you see this awesome statue of Nocturnal. I also added the plants, rugs, benches, and chandelier. I kept the wall shelves and this corner shelf that you get from your workbench, but I also added this corner shelf. Now I'm thinking maybe I should get rid of it and put something else here. Overall, I like this entryway because it's um, simple and it doesn't have like all this clutter and nonsense going on. <laughs> okay, let's go on. I have not done a whole lot in the main hall, but I will show you what I have you so really far. Build this house all by yourself? Um, yes, sweetie. Wow. Okay, so I added these benches, another chandelier, the snowberry wreath on the fireplace and one on the table this is the fireplace you get from your workbench but you'll notice it doesn't have all this clutter um, I deleted the cooking pot and sacks and other containers that were on here uh, because I really didn't need them I have the kitchen extension so it's kind of um, it was just messy looking okay I'm going to oh there was a sack here and one on the other side. I got rid of those two. Okay, I'll take you upstairs now. I placed a wall divider between Vilkas' and Rhea's room to give them a little bit of privacy and personal space. But the only furniture they have are their beds. I'll add um, some plants in here maybe. This is um, not very exciting. Um, I kept the corner shelves. I thought they looked pretty cool. So this room is also pretty empty. The Mara statue is just a placeholder. Um, until I figure out what I want to do with this room, I know I don't want the double bed in here. This chair is probably going to go. And I added another bench. And here's where Vilka sleeps. All right, let me take you back downstairs and then um, show you the bedrooms. So two more wall dividers in the center of the room to separate it from the kids' room. I kept the workbench bed because it looked nice. I liked where it was placed. I added the tall wardrobes and end tables on both sides and switched out the rugs to the round green ones. Also, these two plants. And that's about it. Okay, so in the children's room, I added the second set of beds to make these look like bunk beds. I also placed a wardrobe, shelf, um, target dummy, oh, and another rug. And that's about it as far as furniture. I added these um, animals because they are potential pets that your child could bring home. This is the only one that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what's wrong with these. They're either bugged or mm, they don't really do much. So back there is a little dwarven spider. Somehow he got stuck behind the bed. And this is Aventus, as you may already know, you cannot adopt him because he doesn't go to the orphanage like he's supposed to after you complete his quest. Um, but I kind of just let him chill, hang out. He's pretty cool, although troubled. When I grow up, I'm going to be an assassin. That way I can help lots of children just like you. Um, and he just stares at the shelf or wall. All right. Good to see you, dear. Hi, honey. So I like what I did with the storage room. I converted it into a library. So here's a little fox. I guess this is where you ran off to and made a mess. There's still plenty of room for maybe tables or furniture. Oh, and I added these candles. And um, that's it.
let's check out the cellar. I added the shrine because I thought it looked interesting, but I haven't done a whole lot to it. And this is a perfect place to grow some fungi. Here's Liz. I tell um, Farkas to stay out of the cellar because, well, he's afraid of frostbite spiders. And look at her, she's just made herself comfortable in this little corner. So all of this um, wall shelf space is being used for my skull collection. <laughs> and there's still plenty more room. I added an alchemy table and the enchanting table here. Other than that, this is it. Still pretty empty. I don't have the Dawn Guard expansion yet, so um, this is where the coffin is supposed to go, but I don't know if I will be needing that. So I'll show you guys the kitchen. I haven't done a whole lot in here. I moved the chest from the entryway um, all the way back here. And here are the dog's little bowls. Back here we have sort of a tub, and it's not really a tub, it's um, Skyforge. Apparently the troughs are connected to the forges, um, so I had to put Skyforge in here and then move it all the way behind the wall. The water's not animated, but that's okay. And um, that's about it. Well, thanks for watching part one. I went ahead and um, plugged some links to a few resources in the description in case you want to give this a try. I also included the ID numbers to some items and furniture you just saw in my house. If you'd like to see future videos, please subscribe. Feel free to leave me feedback and uh, ask questions. Um, you can also catch me on Steam.